a couple of National League teams that will be part of the postseason start a three-game series tonight in Arizona as the Milwaukee Brewers and the Arizona Diamondbacks engage for the first time since they met in the wild card round of last year's playoffs, uh, a series in which Arizona won both games in Milwaukee on their way to uh, advancing all the way to the World Series where they, where they fell just short to the Texas Rangers. I have the winning pick, a money line pick, in that game, the opening game of that series, I should say, tonight. And uh, stay with me, and I'll get to that in a moment with uh, my analysis and free pick on that game. But friendly reminder, folks, uh, football season's upon us, and the college football NFL combo package right now for any handicapper over at Wager Talk. No promo code needed, just $199. Just one ninety nine for thirty days of NFL college football combined. Why should you consider buying that for me in particular? Well, last year I finished number two overall uh, in terms of money earned combination college football and the NFL. Also, uh, a lot of you have taken advantage of this offer, and I appreciate you doing so. Uh, myself and Jesse Shule have teamed up. Uh, Jesse being my fellow handicapper over at Wager Talk, uh, to uh, offer you a great deal, $99, seven-day pass for everything that myself and Jesse puts out for the next seven days. So take advantage of that offer, just $99. Uh, it's more or less a two-for-one as uh, you're getting for the price of one, you're getting myself and Jesse, and take advantage of that offer. Jesse, one of the finest handicappers in the country, along with myself, and uh, let's make a lot of money starting this weekend. All right, let's get to the game in hand. And uh, that's the Milwaukee Brewers and the Arizona Diamondbacks. Scheduled first pitch at 9.40 p.m. Eastern time tonight. Milwaukee will go with the veteran right-hander Freddie Peralta, while the Diamondbacks go with Southpaw Eduardo Rodriguez. And right now the money line shows Arizona at minus 106 and Milwaukee at minus 104. And that's going to be our area of concentration with this pick. Eduardo Rodriguez of the Diamondbacks has displayed terrible form over his last three starts. An 810 ERA, a 188 whip. That's not going to win a lot of games. Uh, and, you know, Arizona is a great hitting team, but uh, that in itself uh, puts up a red flag to start with in the handicapping process. The Arizona bullpen, by the way, uh, Rodriguez doesn't figure to get much help from them. Is Again, last seven games, Arizona relievers have a combined 620 ERA and 142 whip, and uh, the Diamondbacks have escaped some of those miseries uh, just because they've been hitting so well and their offensive run production has been so good over that course of time. However, Freddie Peralta gets a start for the Milwaukee Brewers in his last five starts. Peralta in good form, a 239 ERA, a 125 whip, a little over five innings pitch per start. And uh, he can rely on his bullpen because Milwaukee relievers in their last seven games have a combined 133 ERA and 096 whip. They were three for three on save opportunities. So the Milwaukee Brewers bullpen of late has been lights out. Uh, Milwaukee has really struggled offensively over their last three games. Uh, as a team, they're 19 for 99 at the plate, and that equates to just a 192 team batting average over the last three games. Um, however, since Pat Murphy has been hired as uh, the manager in Milwaukee, uh, the Brewers are 24 and 4 after going through a three-game stretch in which they hit 200 or worse. So something to keep in mind there. Um, Pat Murphy, for whatever reason, has been able to uh, win a lot of games with his Brewers uh, when his team has been slumping offensively over a three-game stretch, specifically the numbers I just alluded to. And that 24-4 and run uh, after uh, hitting less than 200 as a team over the last three games, Milwaukee has also outscored the opposition by 2.5 runs per game in those 28 outings. Uh, again, this is the first meeting of the se season between these teams, and I'm not a proponent of revenge in Major League Baseball. It's just too long a season, 162 games. It's not like you can go out there and hit somebody physically. 
Um, it's not like you could block shots. It's not like you could hit a lot of three pointers. Uh, it all comes down to pitching and timely hitting. And I, that's why I put very little emphasis uh, in Major League Baseball when it comes to revenge. But having said that, uh, you look at Milwaukee, this is a team that's really been pretty much in control of the NL Central for quite a long time right now. And you could probably, they haven't clinched the division yet, but you might as well can mail them in as the division winner. Uh, and being part of the postseason, uh, you got to believe that that's that go, playing at home last year in that two game series against Arizona, actually, three game series, and they were beat decisively in both games. I'm uh, watching Arizona go all the way to the World Series. It's got to stick in the Milwaukee Brewers' mind. And if they're going to have any incentive in this series, that certainly uh, would provide a lot, and especially in game one of the series. So I'm going to go with the Milwaukee Brewers in game one of this three-game series against the Arizona Diamondbacks. And right now, Milwaukee is a 104 money line favorite. So uh, and actually, actually, not a money line favorite. They're just minus 104 on the money line. All right. Um, a, a quick update. Last night, lost with Texas State. is uh, They blew a 21-7 lead. I had them um, at plus two, and they lost 31-28. Some real tough losses with my premium picks over the last course of the last week and a little bit of struggle since uh, August with the premium picks. Look at, I tell it the way it is, folks. When I'm winning, you hear it for me, uh, but I'm very transparent when things aren't going well. All I could tell you right now is I'm going to turn things around. And when that happens, and those of you who've been with me for a while know, I'm, you know, I uh, could put, uh, make bookmakers not sleep at night. Uh, when I go on a tear over a two or three month period of time. And I really believe I'm very close to it happening. Um, Sunday in the NFL or week one in the NFL, I went three and two, uh, lost. The only two losers I had came by a half a point uh, each. And then uh, on today is Friday. On Wednesday, I had the Toronto Blue Jays in New York Mets game under seven and a half. It was one nothing going into the ninth inning. Uh, the Toronto pitch starting pitcher uh, was throwing a no hitter. Uh, Francisco Lindor uh, leads off, hits a home run to tie the game one to one for the Mets, and then Toronto's terrible bullpen comes into play. Uh, the Mets go on to score six runs in the top of the ninth to make it six to one, and then Arizona gets a two runs uh, two out single uh, to win the game. So it's been. I'm not crying about it because I've won a lot of games over my career just like that. My point being is uh, my record uh, isn't as uh, bad lately as it may indicate. So I'm very close, and we're going to go on a roll. And as a matter of fact, since September 9th of last year, despite uh, last night's loss, uh, 65 and 48 with my college football picks, that's around 58% since last September 9th. And also college football, NFL combined, number two last year, like I alluded to. So in my top plays, or 5% best bets, as we deem them at Wager Talk, 25 and 10 since February 4th, um, that's good for 72% and a net profit of $7,000. So I will have a 5% top play in the NFL on Sunday and I've yet to decide if I'm going to use the top play in college football on Saturday. But I do have four winning picks posted in college football on Saturday. And folks, I will be disappointed with anything less than a 4 and all sweep with those picks on Saturday. Until the next time, for Ross Benjamin and Wager Talk 